Well, Graham Lasso, uh, now retired footballer, of course, they don't look much older, to be honest. Uh, you played a number of times for England, uh, 30 odd caps, wasn't it? You played in the 98 World Cup, you played for Chelsea, Blackburn, Southampton. So, all in all, not bad. You were a defender. The question today, Graham, is who are the top five defenders you either played with or against and why? Well, top five defenders in all the games that I've played is a very tough question, as I'm sure it is for everyone. First person that springs to mind, Roberto Carlos. Um, played against him on a few occasions. Phenomenal fullback. I often used to watch him and think, how can I be like him in the way that he plays? In terms of his, he's so dynamic as a player, such a creative player in a fabulous team, and technically incredibly gifted. So he'd be one. Decent free kick uh, ex expert as well. Incredible free kick taker. I mean, we remember that goal he scored um, against France in the tournoi the year before the 98 World Cup where he bent a ball with the outside of his foot down the side of the French wall and made it swing back and go into the corner. Fantastic player. Another Brazilian that I had the pleasure of playing directly against was Cafu and he played for many years at the highest level and again a tremendous talent um, as a fullback. Uh, very attacking fullback as well, and a, a, a good um, a good example to all of us uh, fullbacks about how creative you can be in that position. Next up would be an Englishman that I played alongside um, for England and played against a lot in his career at Arsenal. That'd be Tony Adams. Tony was a combination of determination, ability, um, and an extreme leadership. He was he was a phenomenal leader, old-fashioned, old-fashioned sort of English central defender. He was an old-fashioned defender in, in the sense that you know he did the simple things well, but he also as the game changed, he evolved and developed as well. And you know he had a, he had a, a heart and a, a character that was so big, um, you know, he, he was a very good leader. Um, that's three. My fourth player would be Marcel Desailly from Chelsea, a colleague of mine at Chelsea. And I never felt we saw the best of Marcel when he was at Chelsea because he'd been such a great player during his time in Italy and his time for France. Um, but still, he was a, an incredible player. You saw many on many occasions at Chelsea how you know, how big his reputation was and why that was, because he was a fantastic athlete, um, a great reader of the game, had incredible awareness from that. Um, World, Cup, World Cup winner. World Cup winner, and also he led by example, um, and he took responsibility um, in, in situations. So all of those characteristics um, made him a, a world great. The fifth and final player, now I'm taking a bit of a gamble here because Philip Lahm I would say I think I played against when uh, England played Germany in the World Cup qualifier which was my last game for England. So the eagle-eyed amongst the viewers will have to probably come back and say you never played against him. But I think I did and if I did he has to go down as another tremendous player. He play left back, right back, he's now playing in midfield, he's winning things um, what has won things with teams that he's played in. He's a quiet, um, conscientious player who goes unnoticed sometimes, but his his sort of his ability on the pitch and his calmness, I think, is something that really sets him out. And for a player to have played that many times for his club, Bayern Munich, and that many times for his country, Germany makes me realise that he must be a great player because he's always the first pick on the team. Well, there's a lot of great defenders you played with and against you haven't made the ground or so <laughs> top five. Um, their, their lives aren't complete as a result, but um, I know it's a tough question, but that's that's a great five, isn't it? It is, and it's not a reflection on pit players, the other players that I've, I've could have mentioned. There are some tremendous players out there. Um, I'm sure when they do their top fives, I'll be in none of them. <laughs> well, you'll make the jersey top five. I hope so. <laughs> Thanks very much. Pleasure.